Okay, Assalamualaikum, very good day everybody. We're going to continue with our lesson for today. So, complex number. Alright, so first let me outline for you the learning outcomes that you should know at the end of the lesson. So, I really hope that you guys read this by yourself. So, as for the introduction, let's recap a bit. So, if we have before this, if we have x squared minus 9 equal to 0. So, what we usually do is we just solve. We write. So, x squared equal to 9. That will produce x equal to plus minus 3. Because a square number, square number is always positive. Negative number when being squared is positive. As well as positive number also positive. So, that's why you need both plus and minus. Okay. So next, how about this example? For this example, you have calculator, your own calculator to solve this straight away. So when you solve this straight away, insert into your calculator, what will be shown is this answer here. Okay? Just don't um, be so confused with this. This is actually the process of completing the square if you guys still remember but don't worry your own respective lecturer will be informing you about this from time to time okay and then please note that the roots are all real numbers means they are all real they are all integers okay so next Let's see what is the difference with the complex number. So what if we have this kind of problem here? Try to solve that. And again, I'm using CTS here. So CTS, as simple as we having, let's say you have x squared minus, we have bx plus c equal to 0. So again, remember this template. You should have x minus with your b must be over with 2. And then this one is consistent, minus also. So whatever you have here, you should square that. Okay. And then for this one, just bring it over. Okay. Yeah? So that's what happened here lah. Which is, we follow through whatever the sign is. Let me change my color of the pan. Okay, whatever the sign is, I'm just bring over. This one is actually B over 2. So that's why 2, where our B is actually 4. Alright, so now square it up. It always consistent. Minus also consistent. So why 4? Because it's 2 square straight away. Right? And then plus 13. Just bring it over. There. Okay. So what will happen here is you would bring all the 13 minus 4. That should be 9. Right? So bring it to the right. You would have negative 9. So that's why for the next one we would have x, x minus 2 in the bracket. But with plus minus, third negative 9. Okay, before this, I've mentioned to you, please do familiarize with this kind of symbol because we're going to start to call it as third. Alright? So now, negative 9 square root of it, of it, when you plug in into your calculator, that would, wouldn't produce any uh, solution, right? You would have notice where it could be an error or it could be just uh, R something like that. Okay. So now what we should do is we have another category for that. So let's say now set negative 9 is actually negative 1 times 9. Okay, multiply by 9, right? So, 
which means that we can actually separate them into set negative 1 times by set 9. Okay, remember your indices. So now, the set negative 1, we symbolize that by I. Okay, in our syllabus here, we started to signify set negative 1 with I. Would have 3 I there. Okay, so our answer from here, that should be X minus 2 with plus minus also bring over. But then we have 3 I here. Okay, clear ah, guys. Okay, so our final answer by bringing up negative 2 to your right, we should have plus 2, isn't it? Okay, so that should be 2 plus minus 3i. So this is what we call as complex number. Okay, so in conclusion, every complex number should have a non-real number. Ha, dia macam dunia lain, brother. Okay, so in conclusion also, the real part, the part without I, we call that as real. The part with I, we call that as imaginary part. Okay, so therefore, we name a complex number as Z equal to A plus BI. Generally, this is the general form. So, A is the real part and B is the imaginary part. Okay, and please beware that this is actually a Cartesian form of a complex number because we have another form for complex number also. Okay, guys, so sit steady.